spraying, or rolling. Today we will answer this age-old question and review this paint sprayer. <coughs> In the box you will receive the lacquer attachment, the spray gun itself and an interior paint attachment. The sprayer and the attachments are well made, despite being out of plastic. They fit together nicely and you also get some spare seals. I wanted to paint my ceiling with this paint sprayer, but figured it might be a good idea to test it first. For testing I am using this acrylic lacquer to paint some metal. Since this paint is more fluid than your typical interior paint, I thought this will be a breeze. Boy, was I wrong. According to the manual, you should use less air with the lacquer attachment. I have started with the air set to low and the lowest material feed possible. This resulted in blobs and uneven texture. I've slowly increased the material feed, but this didn't atomize the lacquer finer. It only increased the paint output. Finally, I've set the air to high, but this also didn't result in an even spray pattern. I used around 20% water to dilute the lacquer down in hopes to get a better spray pattern. But as you can see it looks like a shitty rattle can job. However, I decided to move on and test the real thing. For me it worked best using air on high, very little material feed and paint consistency like soup. Cleaning is straightforward and takes not much longer than cleaning out a paint roller. The pros, it's kind of easy, it's fast, the gun is easy to clean and also it fits together very nicely. The cons, the gun is really heavy and it wants to tip over because of the heavy motor. The power cord is very short, so you definitely need an extension. You need more paint than usual. It leaves a big mess behind. And the biggest issue for me is the surface finish. It's more like an orange peel. It's more like throwing paint through a mesh. Splashing our creativity onto the world with paint throwing. I've tried all different settings. I've tried low airflow, I've tried high airflow. I thinned the paint out with water. I added around 20%. Before it was only splattering like <laughs> paint blobs everywhere. With 20% water added, you could get some water of an okayish finish. So, is it any good? Mm, it depends. If you don't care about the surface finish and you just want to get done, it's okay. But for the price, I would rather stick to the roll and save some money because this surface finish, it's not worth it.